Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Tomorrow. It's been a while since I've been able to put out a space pod due to personal reasons, but thankfully that's cleared up and we can get these going again. There was a lot of really cool stuff that happened last month in October, and probably the biggest thing I want to talk about is this year's International Astronautical Congress that took place in Jerusalem, Israel between October 12th and October 16th, 2015. And there was so much cool stuff that was talked about at that meeting. So that's what we're going to be discussing today for this, your space pod for November 3rd, 2015. Attendance at this year's event wasn't as high as they had hoped due to violence breaking out just days before the event started in Jerusalem between the Israelis and the Palestinians. But nonetheless, a lot of the directors of different space agencies around the world attended the meeting and made some really cool plans and hopefully fostered some new partnerships. First off, NASA's administrator Charlie Bolden made some very interesting remarks about NASA's cooperation with China. We have what I consider to be a temporary interruption in our in our relationship with all the potential partners in the world. You know, it's not permanent, it's temporary. We continue to work through the Congress uh, to collaborate with China through the, the Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, we support the Chinese Academy of Science and its cooperation with NASA and other organizations in the US. Uh, we believe that this is a, a uh, what we call it uh, regional and temporary. Uh, we certainly hope that this uh, temporary uh, time frame could be short. I uh, just voicing on behalf of the space community between the two countries, I think the community uh, people have all their desires, strong desires to have bilateral cooperation, and we should work together to, uh, to overcome all those difficulties and, and limitations. Thank you. Let, Thank let you. me make one quick statement because this is a statement for the US mainly. Um, I think if you ask for a show of hands on this podium, there would be one that would not go up when it came to who's talking to, uh, you know, Mr. Zhu and the Chinese National Space Agency. It would be mine. And the, the reason I think it's that where we are today is temporary is because of a practical uh, statement that we will find ourselves on the outside looking in. Uh, because everybody up here who has uh, any hopes of a manned space flight or a human space flight program they want to get their astronauts and cosmonauts and taikonauts flown. So they will go to whoever will fly their people. If we're not collaborating with everybody, we'll be on the outside looking in. And everyone will be going to Shenzhou and, you know, all this other stuff. As many of you know, China is planning on building a multiple module space station in the future, and they've already been testing components for it with their Tiangong modules. And at this Congress, China announced, or specifically their lead designer announced, Zhou Jiangping, that they are seeking partners for this space station. They are looking for partnerships with Russia, with the European Space Agency, with Japan, and of course with the United States. And no formal agreements have necessarily come out yet. However, Russia in the past has expressed interest in that and they have traded technology and, and possibly even traded technology to have a common berthing adapter or docking adapter so that any of their spacecraft could dock with each other. Also, uh, I think that one of the, our priority is to discuss and to develop the program. Our principal position that it should be a common program uh, that we create together and develop together with our partners. And uh, what we see in the future, it, it is again our position, that this partnership should be open not for existing members of ISS and partners on ISS, but other countries uh, that will bring huge benefits uh, for us, uh, including uh, other countries. Uh, first of all, I mean, maybe I, I mean BRICS countries. So I think the next year we are going to discuss and uh, what is uh, next steps after uh, low Earth orbit, and uh, I think that would be a consider considerable part of our work. Thank you. Uh, so when you talk about international corporations, I think what we are sitting around this table right now has to uh, abandon some ideas of prejudice and to work together with the same effort. Uh, China is an open country. Thank you. 
Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about all these different space agencies meeting in Jerusalem and whether or not these plans will come forward or whether they will just fizzle out. Do you think that the world's space agencies should work together to further our progress or should everyone go it alone? I want to know what you guys think about that. And while you're at it, if you're willing and able, please consider contributing to our Patreon campaign so that we can continue to fund shows like this. Please visit patreon.com slash spacepod for more information on that. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for this space pod. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Michael Clark, and hopefully you're a little bit smarter today than you were yesterday, thanks to tomorrow. Keep moving onwards and upwards, everybody, and I will see you in the future. <laughs>